Right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ijaz. Um, I'm a developer architect, uh, work for a company called Advania UK. Um, so uh, today um, I'm presenting on a document AI assistant with OpenAI. Um, so we'll, we'll deep dive in a minute. So if you please get in touch um, if you have any question about uh, my, we all want to just have a chat about Max 5 or Azure or uh, any of those platforms uh, here are my LinkedIn, uh, X or Blue Sky contact details. Um, so today what we're going to cover is we're going to look, we're going to look what, what we're trying to achieve to start with. Then we will explore what AI options we have now as of today. Proposed solution, um, then what is assistant uh, API demo, then brief code review, and if you have any question at the end. Um, so the main goal is, you know, what we're trying to find always is how can we, you know, do proper search, how we can get answer to our questions uh, coming from the SharePoint search and, you know, using all um, different techniques in normal SharePoint search, uh, metadata techniques, filter down the data, but then it's moved to, um, uh, when, when the AI comes in into play, uh, uh, how can we actually uh, ask some uh, questions uh, relevant to that document? And uh, you know, not 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 necessarily needs to be a keyword-based search. It needs to be like a human natural language queries user can ask, and uh, you know, and we can get answers. Uh, so, and to going to that direction. Uh, there are, uh, you know, where we can ask question, do some analysis now on on that document. Uh, so, uh, so this is the problem we're trying to solve, and I think is the ongoing. Uh, we're, get, we're getting better as the new things are coming in with in AI space and co-pilot space. So, um, so this is what we're going to solve today. So, AI to rescue. Some we have as as for now today, we have some options to um, tackle this or uh, how can we uh, use our natural language, ask question about that document uh, in your own language and then get the answers back, ask uh, AI to do some analysis on that document as well. Uh, so what option do we have today? So we can use the RAG approach, um, retrieval augmented generation, um, you know, build our own AI uh, or uh, orchestrator and use that approach. That's option number one. Uh, option number two, nowadays uh, we've got SharePoint agents available. We can ask uh, SharePoint agent, hey, here's the document. Could you please give me answer to this, this question? It can reply, it can give you answers. Um, uh, not sure about the, how, 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 big, uh, how far the SharePoint agent can go in term of when we're asking about the more inside depth or some analysis question. Um, uh, still need to explore. Uh, then we have a co-pilot agents where um, uh, custom engine agents or declarative agents, uh, less from the declarative agent, more custom engine agents. Again, the custom engine agents also use the Azure A, uh, Azure AI search behind the scene. And uh, declarative agent, you can use the API plugin to, to somehow to go and uh, talk to that document. So you have, we have that options as well every option has a pros and cons and depend on the scenario you trying um, you build and then we have a nowadays the new um the assistant api uh, uh by the open ai so so today we're going to uh, look into the assistant api and uh, we see how can we use that uh, uh, uh to basically ask questions to that particular document and probably do some analysis type questions as well and see if was assistant api a response look like whether this solves the problem or not so right so the the solution which i build is um so i build a spfx um extension um where you can go to the document library select a document and you will uh, see a pop-up, a chat window will open up, and then you can ask a question about that selected document, and uh, you know anything what you wanted to ask about, or find out what's in that document, or let's suppose if you have an employee handbook, there's any particular question, doesn't have to be a keyword based. Yeah, you can use your own language to ask question, uh, or some analysis question. Uh, you, you can ask question, and the request will go to, uh, there's a backend Azure function. Azure function is talking to OpenAI Assistant, 
Uh, and Open Assistant basically, we're passing that document. Well, we have Microsoft Graph uh, as well uh, for at the moment because we have a limitation around what type of files can be supported by Open Assistant. So that's why uh, for the better support, I'm converting them into the PDF using the graph uh, and then passing that P um, PDF stream to the OpenAI system. Um, uh, and then the PDF assistant taking that file, uh, the, uh, the OpenAI assistant taking that file and doing all the magic behind the scene, which you have to build by your all the orchestrator behind your by yourself. Like if you go for the rag approach, uh, it doing everything for you. Now that sounds really cool, but again, there is a limitation. There is some other bits and pieces you have to consider when you use this approach. But as for now, it, it looks really, really cool uh, and and helpful. So we'll that's and then once it, open assistant take the file, give you the response back, and then I'm passing that response to the chat window. The user can see what you know uh, the response from based on your question. Uh, then. Right, so before we go to the demo, we just want to just briefly what Assistant open API uh, look like. Uh, you can use, um, uh, basically, create, you can create your own intelligent AI helpers, uh, get smart answers using that, no history needed. So with the, if you have built some apps using the RAG approach, you have to um, build a chat history and then pass the chat history part of your prompts to get the better answers but at this point not need, uh, with the assistant api no need to do that uh, and there are some built-in tools available uh, for example um, retrieval uh, code interpreter and function calling so retrieval is good for the queue normal uh, you asking question about the document code inter uh, interpreter is uh, is really good when you're asking some analysis related or insights based questions and there's a function calling as well you building um you want to bring your own uh plugins uh in certain scenario where you want your own uh, uh functions to be used part of that process then you can use the function calling as well so you define those things and based on the query uh you know the the assistant api can choose which one to use so um now just look at the architecture of the open assistant api um now you number one you upload the file so behind the scene once he's got the file it's going to chunk it put into make it small uh, uh, small uh, small chunks uh, then it's going to index generate the embeddings uh, create the vectors uh, and is ready for the retrieving content so is everything behind the scene is uh, it's all these process doing behind the scene which normally you have to build by yourself uh, yeah uh, so then you user ask a question and then the and then it, when it's user ask a question and upload the file it create a thread so then you, uh, the file is part of the thread uh, you can upload multiple files to a thread um, you can use the existing thread if the user ask a, a, a another question so you don't have to recreate the thread all the time so there are some techniques uh, this uh, you can use so uh, it created a thread you, uh, and it, uh, and then and it saves all the files uh, part of that thread and then you can also clean up the threads as well there is some technique how to manage this one and uh, and then you get the uh, content from the api so this this uh, uh, just to point out this is op open assistant api at the it's uh, in preview at the moment so uh, so keep an eye on if you're using it so make sure um, uh, at the moment I'm using that as a preview version. So they are still, uh, you know, they're going to change uh, and add some few, few more bits. Uh, so if you go to a look, just quickly look into the, it's a file retrieval or file search tool uh, in the Open Assistant. So it's optimized user query. So you take the query, make it, uh, make it rewrite the, uh, your natural language uh, question into more optimized user query. Uh, it can break the query into smaller uh, other some some parts okay run the query uh, in parallel uh, and then it does the both keyword and semantic searches and once it's done uh, uh, once you got the results it then rank the results as well and send the response back so looking into second tools available uh, some limitation in the file search tool is um, you can't at the moment you can't do research filtering 
you can't pass images in the document. Uh, summarization is not good for summarization because it might be something they will do, but at the moment, uh, it's really good for the curing, but not for the sum. You, if you want to ask, hey, summarize this document, it doesn't do the summarization really good. Uh, and there's some uh, uh, limitation on the file types. Next tool is core interpreter. So deep data analysis, you want to use, enable this tool, uh, rewrite the code. So re it basically what it does is if you ask um, core interpreter to rewrite some code or write some code uh, to achieve some certain task, is it will carry on rewriting the code until it get and solve the solution. Uh, I mean, it, it come up with your uh, uh, what you wanted to uh, uh, you know achieve in the solution. So it is ability to do by itself behind the scene. It has access to 300 uh, over 300 Python packages. So um, really really cool uh, core interpreter tool and really powerful. It can generate charts, so you can ask him to, you know, uh, based on analysis and also show the data in the charts or uh, some other type of UI. Um, some other limitations, access to one trade tools currently, uh, code interpret, um, the assistant has access to 128 tools. Thread retention is um, 30 days only. So um, uh, after 30 days, it gets uh, removed and the code interpreter session remain active for one hour. So there's some, as I said, few limitations uh uh, uh arrange for and which is with with any api or with any platform so please go through those limitations so let's go quickly look at the demo now um i move this guy here so um if i let's go to first we'll do um let's say employee handbook so i'm going to just move this and click on the ai assistant it will open up and say employee handbook so i'm going to ask a quick question say okay how old to report illegal activities at work so uh, it's not available in there like in if there is a some uh, some context about the um, uh, some report how do you how you want to report to your some uh, which is not legal for work uh, but yeah I, I change the context of the question so that ai can understand itself so let's see hopefully it will i took some screenshot in case it doesn't work i can shoot the screenshots that it it will work there you go. So, yeah. So, to report illegal activities, work. Follow these steps. One, one, two. You know, it's a couple of steps and what to do, who to call, etc. So, all that is up here. Um, you know. So now, just coming, going back to another one, which is analysis. So, let's say I have this spreadsheet. Um, a European travel agency construction operating and cost. So, what I want to do is, I, you know, uh, I want to say, give me the cost for the probably the storm water management or recycle content. So let me just ask him, just grab me this, doing some analysis on, on this document. So if I just say, um, go in here, say, let's see what he comes back. This is when I could really have those storm sound effects. So I'm gonna have to just yes. okay. why we wait. The cost for the storm water is this, and the cost for the recycling is this. So this is really cool. It's like a basic, basic analysis I've performed. But yeah, you get the idea. You know how how powerful this can be. Um, so uh, yeah, so that's that's uh, the demo. So let me quickly show you how did I build that. So um, from the from the front end side, um, uh, I'm just calling this. Uh, there is a um, there's a package call I use the React chat elements if people are developers are interested to see the UI bit. So to build the chat UI, then I'm calling an Azure function behind the scene uh, and asking for the message and then I'm building the message. But I'm just going back to the back end actually to show you. Um, uh, so first of all, um, we go to, let's first go to Azure AI service. So first thing, when I get the file, I'll go and convert into the PDF using Microsoft Graph. And once I've converted that, I created a Azure OpenAI client uh, and I created a file client. You create, you have to create a different clients. So op OpenAI client, file client, and assistant client. So these three clients you have to create. And once you've done that, you create some uh, um, assistant creation options where you define, okay, this is the name of the assistant. This is the instructions. 
And then what tools we, the, the tools we saw earlier, like you want to use the file search, you want to use the code interpreter, or you want to also define the, uh, your, um, the function calling as well. Then after that, you create assistant. Uh, once your assistant has been created, you upload that file uh, uh, to and give it to assistant. So this is the uh, inbuilt functions, upload file to the assistant. Once it's done, file is have been uploaded you got the file detail you go ahead and create a thread um, uh, once you created a thread you then here you attach that document to that thread thread this is a part of that thread so once that done then the last thing is just simply create a message and ask just uh, ask for the response so uh, then you this is like you get a streaming response as your response is coming i'm adding uh, keep adding the response into the my content uh, result so once the response has been received fully, uh, I at the, uh, at the end, I, what I'm doing is I'm cleaning up, uh, I'm removing the file, I'm removing the thread, which has, and also deleting the assistant. So just cleaning up to, just to keep it, uh, not using the resource too much. Uh, and then I'm returning the results. So that's how uh, I've been using uh, as a, 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 um, behind the scene, uh, the backend. But this is a really, really basic, uh, but there are some techniques where you don't have to create the agent if he's already been created. You don't have to uh, create the thread if he's already there. So there are some techniques you can use if you want in your um, code in, in the production, but that is just to give you the concepts. Uh, that's all from me, guys. If you have any question, please uh, shout out in the chat. Thank you.